Hi Cupcakes! Welcome back to my channel, They Cook Knotted. This is episode 2 of Cole Mafia and his sassy princess. In this video, storyline and character voice and editing is mine. And if you don't like the voiceover, then please silent the voice. Today's shout out goes to Kapar Usha, Malu Campbell, Agaskar Khan, Shorty Uni, and Maria Danulovic. More shout outs ahead Donna Phillips, Shruti Chadav, Amina Afsar, Erin Veya, Babita, and Agnes Muir. I hope that you all will enjoy this video, so let's get started. Previously on episode 1 of Cold Mafia and his Sassy Princess, the door opened, revealing Jungkook sitting in the car waiting for his baby. Those men handed Tae over to Jungkook. Jungkook took Tae on his lap sideways. Tae's legs were hanging on one side and his head was rested on Jungkook's shoulder on the other side. Jungkook, let's go to my secret mansion. Driver started the engine of the car. Jungkook, my baby looks so cute while sleeping. Jungkook traced his thumb on Tae's lips and Jungkook, ah! They bit his thumb and opened his pretty eyes. Jungkook took his finger out and they pushed himself away from Jungkook and threw his shoe on his head. They took Jungkook's, co took Jungkook's collar by locking Jungkook's leg sitting on his lap. Jungkook was now squished in the corner of the car, being defenseless as he cannot hurt his baby. They, yeah, why are you kidnapping me? Jungkook, I'm not kidnapping you. I'm taking you with me. They, that means the same thing. Jungkook, no it doesn't baby pie. Jungkook said not comfortable in, his, in the position as somehow they ended up on Jungkook's lap. During locking his leg with his, Jungkook held Tae's waist pulling him closer. Jungkook, you are so feisty baby. Tae, how Dumb can you and your man be? They couldn't even do their job properly. Jungkook started laughing. They, what? Why are you laughing? Jungkook, you thought that handkerchief had chloroform on it? You're wrong, baby love. It had nothing on it. I know by now how clever you are. They, you knew what I'd do. Jungkook, of course I knew that. You'd stop breathing the moment that handkerchief would touch that pretty nose of yours and try to trick me into thinking that you have fainted. But baby, let me tell you, the one you are dealing with is the Mafia King. They, you think I care who you are? Jungkook, that's what I like about you, honey butter. They, stop with those endearments. Jungkook, you deserve all the affection in the world, love, but... For now, be ready to live with me. They, no, I won't. My brother will find me. He isn't a normal person. Jungkook, yeah, yeah, we'll see who you, who your brother is later. But for now, you are mine. Look at you, already knowing the place you belong to. They looked down and realized that he was sitting on Jungkook's lap. He immediately pushed him back and sat on the longer row seat diagonal to Jungkook. Jungkook smirked and took out his cigar. Jungkook, look at you sitting like a doll. They shut up. Effing cake sniffer. Jungkook, of course, baby. Just want to sniff that piece of cake. Jungkook points at they and they twists his face in and disgust disgusting expression and looks away blushingly. Yep, he was blushing. Can't get away with JJK's charms. The car stopped and the guard opened the door. Jungkook, come baby, it's your new home. They, new home my foot. They had no option but to get off the car and go in because even though he won't accept it, but he is a bit afraid of Jungkook. And possibilities of what he might do to him. As they got in, these eyes were amazed to see a luxurious house. He also lived in such house but it is not as big as this. There was no stuff inside the mansion. It was just they and Jungkook. Jungkook, so now that we are all alone, let's do something. They widened his eyes as Jungkook started stepping closer to they. 
they walked backwards and starts running. Jungkook runs behind him but stops when he sees they taking off waves in his hand. Jungkook, wait, TBB, don't. They throws the waves and Jungkook ducks down. The waves hits the wall behind him. Jungkook, baby, I could have died. Then who will be the father of our baby? They, which baby? Jungkook, the baby that you'll give birth to? They, yeah, you stay away from me. Jungkook, okay. Jungkook walks into a room leaving a dumbfounded they in living room. They walks to the room's door and bangs it. They, yeah, open it. They shouts and in response, Jungkook peeks out from the slightly open door. Jungkook, you said to stay away from now. Why are you coming near me? They, you kidnapped me, so at least tell me where I'll sleep. Jungkook opened the door. Jungkook, with me, of course. They, I'm not going to sleep with you. Jungkook, there is no other room than this. They, what? In such a big house, you have only one room? Jungkook, yeah. They, fine, I'll sleep in this room, but we won't share the same bed. Jungkook, well, why don't we discuss this at night? Jungkook says as he walks out of the room to living room. Jungkook, you must be hungry. Tell me what you'll eat, I'll make it. They, I won't eat anything you make. Jungkook, why? I'm a good cook. They, what if you had poison in it? Jungkook, I didn't brought you here to kill you. I brought you here to make you fall for me. They, and that day will never come. Jungkook, oh baby, then I'll marry you like this only because you are mine. Once I claim something, I don't leave it. They, I'll run away before that. Jungkook, you would think, Jin, who will run away? Jin said as he walks in the mansion with Namjoon. Jungkook, oh Papa, what are you both doing here? Jin, we came here to meet our son-in-law. Jungkook, who told you that we'll be here? Namjoon, Yungi. Jungkook, of course, who else would it be such a traitor jin is this him jin points at they jungkook yes it's him jin omo he's so beautiful come here son i'm your future mother-in-law they glares at jungkook but smiles at jin they i am kim taeyong namjoon why did he glare at you namjoon whispers to jungkook and jungkook whispers back Jungkook, I don't think he likes me. Namjoon, you think? Son, it's evident he doesn't. Jungkook, Appa, at least support me. See that, son, it's not like this. He likes you. Something like that. Namjoon, but that's not true. Jin, yeah. What are you both whispering? Namjoon, n- nothing? Namjoon and Jungkook nervously laughs. Jungkook, Oma, why don't you cook something for day? He is hungry. Jin, oh yes, I'll cook something delicious for you. They, th- thank you, but it's okay, don't cook. Jin, it's not a formality, they. I'm doing this out of love. Jin smiles and walks off to the kitchen. Namjoon, I didn't introduce myself to you. I'm Kim Namjoon, Jungkook's father and Jin's husband. They, hi Mr. Kim. Namjoon, oh, stop with this home formality, call me Appa. They smiles. Okay, Appa. Namjoon, why are we still standing? Let's sit. Namjoon and they sat together and Jungkook sat across them. Jungkook, Appa, did you go through the files I sent you this morning? Namjoon, hmm, I did. Jin shouts, Jungkook, can you come in the kitchen? I need your help. Jungkook shouts back, yes, Amma, coming. Jungkook is left, leaving Namjoon and they alone. Namjoon. I wanna say sorry to you. They why? Namjoon, my son brought you here without your consent. They it's okay, Appa. Namjoon, you know, Jungkook is not a bad in person. He just acts like this. They what do you mean act like this? Namjoon. Jin made him like this because he taught him that in Mafia world that there is no place for one who have emotions. Only a cold hearted person can survive. So, he turned out like this. They, 
Why would Omar want him to be part of such dangerous thing? I mean, he is his son. Namjoon, yeah, you are right, but Jungkook wanted it. And Jin never said no to him. Plus, he wanted someone to be the heir of his business. They wait, so this mafia thing is your business? Namjoon, yep, surprising, right? Chuckles. They, yeah, I mean, very shocking. Namjoon, you should think about giving chance to Jungkook. He turned out to be your best choice. They, what if he turns out to be my biggest mistake? Namjoon smiles. He's a gentleman first, then a big tease. Other than Jin, I have also raised him. So, apart from, apart from being cold, cruel, he is a fine young man. They, really? You want me to give him a chance? Namjoon, I know we just met and you can't just trust me. But just trust me this once and you'll be the happiest person with him. They, but he kidnapped me. How can I be happy with him? Namjoon laughs. That's just his way of expressing his love. He never really let anyone come close to him. They, what? You mean to say he never had a girlfriend? Namjoon, you are the first person he fell in love with. He isn't a playboy. They, oh. I thought he must have had several one stand. Namjoon loves. No, no, he isn't that type. That's why I am saying, give him a chance. They, I'll think about it. Namjoon, sure, take as much time as you desire. Jin shouts, dinner's ready. Namjoon, food is calling, come. Namjoon and they went in the dining room. Namjoon sat beside Jin and they sat beside Jungkook. Namjoon, so what did my master chef make today? Jin, bibimbap, japje, tatuki, and for dessert I made bunga pang. Namjoon, that's delicious, just like you. Jin, yeah, kids are sitting here. How can you make such comment? Jin playfully hits Namjoon's shoulder. Namjoon, they are not babies, plus can't I compliment my worldwide handsome husband? Namjoon smiles, showing his iconic dimples on which Jin dies. Jin blushes and ignores Namjoon. Jin, let me serve you all. Te, no, no, Amma, we'll take on our own. Jin, I insist. Jin serves them all and they starts eating. Te, I have to say you both love each other so much. Jin and Namjoon smiles and Namjoon nudges Jin with his elbow and winks at him. At which Jin sh just shyly looks down. Jungkook chuckles at his parents. Jungkook, um, Appa, let him eat properly. He will choke due to lack of air. Namjoon, he won't. He is an intermediate by now. Jin chokes on his food and widened his eyes. Jin, yeah, don't you understand that kids are here? Namjoon chuckles and continues eating. They, you guys must have an interesting love story. Jin, yeah, it is. They, I want to know your love story if you want to tell. Namjoon, oh, why not? Actually, I used to be a normal boy. We used to work in a cafe. One day, he saw me and kidnapped me. The next thing I knew was that I was getting married. They widened his eyes and looked at Janku, who passed an innocent smile to him. Jin, yeah. You didn't tell him the big part how about how you fell in love with me and agreed to marry me. Namjoon. Oh yeah, he kept a knife in front of my neck and said, marry me. Jin glares at Namjoon and Namjoon laughs. Namjoon, sorry I lied, but the part where he kidnapped me is true. I fell in love with him the moment I saw this beauty and said he has to marry him. Hey, that's adventurous. Jin, so Te, did you bring your clothes or he didn't even give you a chance to? Te, I didn't. Jin, oh, no problem. Cook, take him for shopping tomorrow. Jungkook, Oma, I was going to take him tomorrow. Jin, okay, good. Now we'll go. Namjin stood up ready to leave. Jin hugged Te. Jin, take care of yourself. I will come often to meet you, okay? Te smiles. Hmm, okay. Jin, and you, don't hurt him or you won't be able to stand. 
Jungkook. Yes, boss. Jungkook stood in saluting position and Jin laughed. Jin, oh, my son, take care of yourself as well. Eat on time, sleep in time and don't overwork. Jin hugged Jungkook and they left afterwards. Now it was Jungkook and Tae alone in the mansion. Jungkook, let's sleep. You must be tired. Tae, these clothes are uncomfortable. I don't even have my night suit. Jungkook, don't worry. You can wear my clothes. Come. They followed behind Jungkook in the room. And Jungkook brought a white shirt from his closet. Jungkook, here, wear my shirt. Tae, what will I wear beneath these? Jungkook, nothing. Tay, what, are you mad? Jungkook, these are long enough. Now go, tomorrow we'll buy clothes for you. Tay pouts and leaves to get changed. When he changed his clothes, he could smell Jungkook's scent coming from it. Tay, oh, it smells so good. And it's so comfortable. Tay happily walks out and saw Jungkook talking with someone. So he goes back in closet and listen to him. Jungkook, yeah, sure, sweetie, you can come by any time. Oppa loves you, remember this? Tay to himself, Oppa? He says that he loves me and now he's talking with someone else with endearments? Jungkook hangs up and turns to find angry, cute and exy. Young, standing near the bed with his hands across his chest in his shirt. They mimics. Oppa? Jungkook's expressions changed. Jungkook, what? They, Oppa? Jungkook, you heard the conversation. They, I did. Jungkook smirks. Oh, what did you listen? They, I heard everything you said to your girlfriend. Jungkook, you sure she's my girlfriend and not anything else? Jungkook says as he walks near they who walks back till his back hits the wall and Jungkook cages him by placing his hand on the wall. They, you, you call us sweetie. Jungkook, perhaps you are jealous that I don't call you that. They crosses his arms across his chest. They, why would I be jealous? You are not my boyfriend. They, I can be yours. They, but you already have one who calls you oppa. They says me making Jungkook and Jungkook smirks. Jungkook, I don't have anyone other than you, my love. They, go away. I don't want to talk with you. Jungkook, oh, is my baby angry? They flex his finger on Jungkook's head. They, ouch, that hurts. They, stay away from me and go to your girlfriend. Jungkook, fine. Jungkook walks out of the room and again they is left alone. They, huh? He left? They also got out and saw Jungkook standing right in front of the door smirking. Jungkook, I knew you'd come out. They, uh, I came out to drink water. I don't care about you. Jungkook, yes you do, honey bun. Just admit it or They, uh, or what? Jungkook, or I'll kiss you till you can't breathe. They, you won't be able to do such thing. Jungkook, oh I will. Jungkook pins him on the door and inhales Tae's scent from his neck. Jungkook, so good. Jungkook kisses Tae's neck and bites there exactly at Tae's sweet spot, making him M. Tae got hold of Jungkook's hair and Jungkook continued kissing and biting him. Tae, Jungkook, Tae got scared when he heard loud bark out of nowhere. Jungkook, bam, not now. Bam barks again. Jungkook, I'm not harming him. They looks at them and saw Bam standing beside him, protecting him from Jungkook. Jungkook, Bam, I told you to protect him from others, not from me. I won't hurt him. Bam barks. Fine, I'm leaving him. Jungkook stepped back and looked at Tae, who was a blushing mess. They looked at Jungkook and went back in the room, locking it. Jungkook, see, he locked it. Now I won't be able to go to him. So, are you happy now? Bam barks and Jungkook puts his hand on his waist. Jungkook, I thought we were friends but you turned out to be a backstabber. Jungkook walks to the sofa to sleep and Bam follows him. Jungkook, now why are you coming behind me? Go, go to your favorite Taeyang. 
Jungkook lays on the sofa and Bam climbs above him, snuggling in his owner. Jungkook huffs and kisses Bam's fur and sleeps with Bam hugging him. In morning, they woke up and came out of the room only to see Bam and Jungkook sleeping together. They giggle but stops when his stomach grumbles. He stands in front of Jungkook and wakes him up by shaking him. Jungkook opened his eyes and the first thing he saw was thick milky thighs in front of him. He gulped and looked at up to see Taeyang standing. Jungkook got up with Bam. Tae, I am hungry. Make me food for me. Jungkook, and good morning to you too. Tae, food. Jungkook, wow, what a nice way to start the morning. At least give me a kiss. Tae, food. Yoongi, did someone say food? They turned back and saw Yoongi and Hobi coming in the mansion. They widened his eyes and ran towards them. They shouts, Yongs! They hug them together tightly. Hobi, did you sleep well? They, Yong, take me from here. And yeah, I slept well. I slept well. Hobi, good. Wait, what's that? Hobi said, examining these neck and widened his eyes. When he realizes that it is a hickey, he looks down and saw that they wasn't wearing anything below. Hobi, yeah, John Jungkook, you bastard. Jungkook runs and Hobi runs behind him. Hobi, how dare you make a hickey on my brother. Come here. You said you'll win his heart? First, yeah. They was completely blank. He couldn't process what was happening. They stop. Jungkook and Hobi stopped with Hobi choking Jungkook and Jungkook pretending to be dead while shaking in Hobi's hold. They, young, how come you both are here and how do you know him? Now it was Hobi's turn to be scared of Tae's anger. Yungi, I told you it is going to be a mistake. We shouldn't have come here. Now handle this. Hobi, Hobi leaves Jungkook who stood up immediately. Hobi walks towards Taeyang. Hobi, let's talk somewhere else. Tae, no, I want to know it here only. Hobi, Tae bear, Hange is begging you, listen to me. Tae, okay, fine. Hobi, before going out first, get changed. Tae looks down and realizes that he is still in Jungkook's clothes. He ran back in the room to get changed. Hobi, and you, I told you to stay away. Jungkook, Young, I seriously had no bad intention. Hobi, my brother was a has a effing hickey on his neck. Jungkook, I, I lost my control. Hobi, lost your control? Jungkook, sorry. Hobi, seriously, you are using such a bad excuse? Jungkook, Young, you know me. Just give me one last chance. I seriously lost my control, but now it won't happen. Hobi, you know what? I won't leave my brother alone with you anymore. I'll stay here with you both. Jungkook, but we don't have any room here except for that one. Hobi, oh, then you should worry about yourself. I'll sleep with my brother. Jungkook, what? No. Hobi smugs, oh yes. So this brings us to the end of the episode and I'm really sorry I'm uploading late, 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 late. But I told you in the community post that I'll be uploading on 20th February and here it is. My boats are going on and they are so hectic. So I just completed three boats, my English, both English language literature exam and my commerce exam. I gave on 15th, yeah, 15th and now i'm preparing for my economics exam that is on 23rd and yeah i hope that you all enjoyed it i know and i'm sorry i'll keep posting regularly after my boards because my 12th will be over so i'll be free for like four months and she'll get back to back videos every single week you know four weeks four videos so be ready for that wait till 11th march and yeah 11th march is my birthday so don't forget to wish me on that day and yeah see you until next so uh,